Zimbabwe Vets Fire Salvo at Matsvengwa. Members of the Zimbabwe National Liberation or Veterans Association ZNLWVA yesterday fired a salvo on sacked Veterans of Liberation Struggle Affairs Minister Christopher Matsvengwa accusing him of being an obstacle and a pompous politician who was ignoring their grievances. This was revealed by ZNLWVA Manikaland Chapter Chairperson David Garway at a press conference held in Mutia yesterday. Gawe was flanked by the ZNLWVA National Secretary for Lands Mike Mokiwini, Provincial Secretary for Lands Tendai Matasva, Provincial Secretary General Ivan Bengo and Provincial Deputy Chairperson Tanda Rambiwa, among other war veterans. President Emerson Umnengagwa fired Matsvangwa recently over alleged insubordination amid wild celebrations from some of his war veteran colleagues. Gawe said they were not celebrating or cherishing Matsvangwa's demise but he was an obstacle to the resolution of their challenges which he was ignoring. We would like to put it on record that as war veterans, we do not celebrate nor cherish the demise of a colleague, more so a fellow war veteran but we feel greatly relieved when an obstacle to the realization of our welfare goals is removed. Gawe said. He was an obstacle and was even pompous. We can assure our colleagues that the way has been open for us to escalate our welfare issues. The Zimbabwe National Liberation War Veterans Association vehemently condemns any form of prejudice or discriminatory practice against war veterans. The war veterans leader pleaded with Umningogwa to appoint a war veterans minister who is sensitive to their needs. He said Matsvangwa's removal from the post came at a time when they were being victimized and removed from land allocated to them. War veterans are being victimized or dispossessed of land allocated to them. The dispossession of land is a violation of both the provisions of Section 21 cited above and Sections 23 and 84 of the Constitution which direct the state and all institutions and agencies of government to accord us due respect. He said, Mats Vengwa did not answer his phone or text messages when Newsday tried to contact him for a comment.